You're gonna need now to do the back side flip, a kick flip, and a back 180. I like to have my feet set up kind of like a kick flip, but instead of the back foot being on the tail like that, you want to have it hanging off. You have to figure out where you want your front foot. After you do this for a while, you usually figure it out on your own. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pop. Now, after you pop, you want to turn your shoulders. So you you start to do the back side 180. Without your shoulders, you're not gonna be able to do the back side 180. Now you're going to be in the air, and after your shoulders, you kind of turn, and you popped, and you slid your foot up, continue flicking your foot off, and the board's going to start to flip. Once the board's flipping, you're going to want to catch this with your back foot. After you catch it with your back foot, your front foot's going to be dangling over here. You want to get that right in this, like, pocket. So pop, flick, rookie, and catch all at the same time. Now the biggest problem with this trick is probably going to be landing. When you land down on the ground, the bottom half of your body is going to turn and then your shoulders are going to have to follow through. It's really hard to get yourself centered back on top of your board after you did the whole entire rotation and the flick and the catch and everything. Just keep on practicing. That's the best way to learn anything. You have to remind yourself that all this trick literally is is a back 180 with a kickflip in the middle of it. That's the backside flip.